first alert weather with meteorologist Ben Frechette. There we go. I was going to say we we're going about to get to you, Ben. I know they didn't specifically mention that these are because of the winds, but I know that the winds are very powerful right now. I was looking at um, some of the outages just in Vermont alone. 1,700 people are without power right now. What are we looking at for this afternoon? Yeah, that's not really a surprise, Jackie. We've seen the winds ramping up right on schedule, gusts near 50 miles per hour, and they will be with us for quite some time. We'll go over that in just a second, but first, you know, there are some other ways you can enjoy maybe the windy conditions. This picture was taken by Adam Froleg at White's Beach in South Hero. You can see a brave windsurfer there out on the water, and man, look at Lake Champlain. It almost looks like the Atlantic Ocean this afternoon. Maybe if uh, wind surfing isn't your thing, how about some kite surfing? You can see the little kites flying around there. Some very brave folks on the lake right now and along the Plattsburgh City Beach. Look at all the white caps that are crash crashing ashore. No doubt about it, this is not a safe time to be on the lake, especially if you have, say, a small boat. We are expecting waves of five to eight feet as we go through the afternoon. We've already had one buoy report a wave height of 5.2, so this is occurring as we speak, and the wind is going to remain really tough at 35 to 45 knots throughout basically the entire afternoon. Now, what that wind has done is brought some warmer air in, so that is why a lot of us are in the 70s right now, almost up to 80 in Burlington, almost at 70 in Saranac Lake. But this is really the story this afternoon, guys. Look at the winds out of the south, 15 to 20 miles per hour, sustained up to 30 miles per hour in Burlington. If we look a little closer in the Champlain Valley, you can see the gusts up to 43 miles per hour in Burlington and a 41 mile per hour gust just reported in Charlotte where you saw they had uh, some problems with some downed trees and power lines. So we'll continue to follow that story for you. Bottom line is this, the winds are going to remain with us through the afternoon, but as we go into the overnight, they will slacken off and by tomorrow morning, I don't think we'll have many problems, at least with our winds. In terms of storm tracker, we just have some clouds overhead. You can see a few splotches of green in northern New York, but I checked some of the stations and it doesn't look like any of that ended up reaching the ground. Now, this front is part of a much larger system that's spinning north of the Great Lakes, and this is going to be pretty slow to go on its way. So the weather is going to remain kind of unsettled for the next several days but it's also going to remain warm. I think we stay with the 80s for at least the next few days before we drop back to more seasonable temperatures. So let's kind of spell this all out on Futurecast for you. By tonight, I think we will find some more showers, mainly in northern New York. Most of Vermont should remain dry, but note the clouds. And again, remember the winds are absolutely hauling at this point. By tomorrow morning, the winds are gone. The, we may see a shower or two, but you can see the front kind of draped across our region. It doesn't really go anywhere. It kind of just meanders around, so we may find a couple more showers. Temperature forecast may be a little challenging tomorrow, but expecting a high near 80 in the Champlain Valley. By Wednesday, we continue to watch for some showers, maybe a rumble of thunder in the afternoon, although that day does look a little bit drier than the next couple of days around here. 82 on Wednesday, by the way, we'll watch for those storms again on Thursday, but after that point, the temperatures fall back to more seasonable levels. As we go into next weekend, we are looking at temperatures in the 70s, even into early next week as well, Jackie.